Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to win 2 CP by playing Symmetra on attack and using the sneaky teleporter strategy. As a disclaimer, this works best in solo queue and will probably not work so well against organized teams so keep that in mind. I'm also a bit sick at the moment so I'm sorry if I sound dreadful. Okay, so first of all 2CP stands for 2 control point and is the game mode found on maps like Hanamura, Temple of Anubis and Volskaya Industries. It is one of the most notoriously difficult game modes to win and more often than not ends in a draw simply because of how difficult it is for the attacking team to capture the second point. The whole reason why Symmetra attack works so well in winning 2CP is because you can essentially move the attacker's spawn closer to the point using your teleporter, as well as her insane ability to lock down the point using her turrets. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Playing Symmetra attack on point A is difficult and your main focus should be to charge up your ultimate and get your shield generator down as soon as possible. Do not try to play too offensively because it's really easy for you to get caught and killed. Rather than standing too far away, what I like to do is hide behind the corner close to the choke and constantly be re-peeking as I find my orbs. It is much easier to land them this way as there will usually be a tank such as a Reinhardt or a Roadhog near the choke who can can't dodge your orbs in time. So now that you have charged up your ultimate, what you want to do is place down a shield generator. A good place on Hanamura is right behind the wall inside the shop where the enemy team will usually not go to find it, but it still reaches the actual point. The reason why you should put a shield gen down instead of a telly is that it instantly refreshes once you capture the point and you don't have to worry about its charges since it's up the whole time. Once your shield generator has been placed down, you and your team can play more aggressively now since you have the extra shields, so don't be afraid to move in with your team and attack if you find an opening. So long as you are able to get picks, it's okay if people in your team die since the shield generator and spawn advantage should help you with your next push. So here I am able to capture the point even though I died, which is relieving because when you play sim attack on a 2cp map, you definitely want to make sure that you at least capture the first point, otherwise you are going to be flamed and blamed for the team failing. Just trust me, anything that is off meta will be blamed as the sole reason for a team losing even if it's not your fault. So now comes the fun part of this video and the bit which will make your teams absolutely hate you if you do it right. At this point, your team should have one or two ultimates up that can allow them to make picks. So rather than pushing with them, you should be making your way towards a safe place where you can put down your teleporter when the opportunity arises. You should be watching your team's movements as well as the kill feed to analyze how many picks are made and whether you should be putting down your teleporter or saving it. If your team has made multiple picks, then you should put down your telly immediately so they can respawn and get back to point quickly. If your team has only made one or two picks, but have all died in the process, then you should probably wait for the next push, because you do not want to put down your telly and have it destroyed a second later, since that thing is super loud. Assuming that you have put your teleporter down at a good time, you need to then move to point as soon as possible and put down your turrets to make it even harder for the enemy team to defend. Place them far apart, up and down, and hopefully the enemies will trickle into your lasers of death. Now, you may be thinking, wouldn't the enemy team know what you're up to and destroy the teleporter as soon as you put it down? Well, after playing Symmetra in competitive for over 100 hours, I can tell you that if you time it properly, the enemy team won't have that opportunity and even if someone on their team goes to hunt your teleporter down, that actually puts them at a disadvantage since they lose that one person to help contest the point. This has actually happened to me so many times where that one person, usually the DPS who thinks they know better, goes to find my TP which then allows my team to wipe theirs out and secure the point. I know you might be thinking that this is a dirty strategy but trust me it has worked for me so many times and it's probably one of the best ways to win 2CP right now, especially at lower ranks where teams are much less organized and think that Symmetra is only strong because of a left click. Indeed, her microwaving left click makes her super satisfying to play, but it is really her utility and the stuff that she does when nobody's paying attention that leads to those moments where you can proudly say that you carried or make the enemy team think what the f just happened. So I hope that this video helped some of you who are looking to play Symmetra more extensively and maybe even main her in competitive. Right now everyone is complaining about 2CP and how difficult it is to capture point B but you know try this trick out and maybe you'll be surprised. If you liked this video or have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.